All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome. We're playing some historic, and we are playing a deck that is really, really freaking cool. Um, this deck, I know Autumn was talking about it. Um, it's kind of the rage for like the qualifiers like a few weeks ago, and I'd like saved it, but I kind of been playing cube and stuff lately, and the holidays kind of just took like a, a two week sort of break. But now we're back in. We're playing again. Um, I'm in like gold or platinum, so I didn't play any arena and the ladder was set. But we're here. We're here. We're having some fun. And this deck looks so freaking cool. Very, very complicated deck to play. Um, I'm a little concerned as far as like the... I want to play, play like one or two games of this deck. It seems very, very difficult to play. But this is a sort of like a pseudo combo deck um, based around Paradox Engine. Whenever you cast a spell, untap all non-land permanents you control. And Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy, which says whenever you tap a non-land permanent for mana, you add another mana. So Elves taps for two. Mox taps for two. Sphere generates a mana, which is super awesome. Um, Obelisk taps for two, Mindstone taps for two. And the goal is we get out a Kinnon and a Paradox Engine and a few of these cards, and maybe an Emery, and we can just start playing our whole deck. So with Emery, two Moxes, and an Engine is infinite, infinite spells, um, and then infinite mana, yeah, infinite mana. And then we have Escape the Wilds, draw cards, we have Karn, get the cards out of our, out of our sideboard cards. Um, Karn can go get Paradox, I mean, uh, go get uh, Aetherflux Reservoir to kill our opponent, Storm Style, um, Deck's just capable of some really crazy powerful openings, and we're just gonna battle. Ninja Dave is here. Ninja Dave says, I want to play this deck, but I don't think I'm good enough in magic to properly do so. It does seem exceedingly difficult to play, so watch me stumble through here, and you can figure out how hard it is. And uh, I played all these decks today. Look for them on my YouTube. Uh, let's go. Also, tomorrow, folks, big one tomorrow. Tomorrow is Mog Monday Showdown. The first Monday of every month of every month going forward, the first Mog Monday of every month is going to be a showdown where I challenge the content creator who's a specialist with a deck to a challenge. Goblins versus their deck. Tomorrow is Pleasant Kenobi, Death and Taxes in Modern Legacy, and 1v1 Commander, a format I have never actually played before. Should be a lot of fun. 1 p.m. tomorrow, each standard time. Of course, it'll be on YouTube as well if you missed it. And uh, check it out. It's going to be awesome. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm pumped. All right. Our opener is... It's fine. We can keep this. Cannon is very good. So, 1v1 Commander. Couldn't figure out, figure out a good third a third uh, format for um, for Taxes versus Goblins. Because, obviously, Historic is not really... This isn't really a Taxes deck in Historic. Uh, Vintage doesn't really work. Pioneer doesn't really work. So, someone suggested Commander. I said, yeah, sure. I'll try that. I'll try that. And, actually, if you're on my YouTube folks, folks or my, my Twitch subs... Um, one of the perks that you get access to is uh, an occasional bonus video, and uh, I'm going to be recording myself building the commander deck uh, later today, and that'll be up on my YouTube and on my Discord, so a little bonus content for my subscribers. Why do I like commander? I don't like multiplayer games. I just don't like multiplayer at all. Everyone's just so irrational, it just drives me insane. Um, I've played commander basically once. Um... Me and my buddy Jay was, like my, was, like, was my pro tour travel buddy back in the day. Um, our two friends, uh, Brian and Mike, were a little more, a little more casual than we were. We're like, play commander with us. We're like, sure. So I like built a commander deck out of my cube. Jay built something or whatever. We played commander, and they were just so unbelievably irrational. It just drove me insane. It just drove, drove me insane. It's like, I'm going to attack you, Jim. It's like, why? You should obviously attack Brian, who's not doing anything, but is going to win the game in two turns, some stupid combo. Kill Brian. No, I'm going to attack you. Okay. Up, oh, Brian won the game. Like, just can't, just can't stand it. Um, all right. So, why is the door open? Um, so, we have some mana here. They have a priest, which kind of sucks. Um, we have a backup copy of, of Bonder Prodigy, but let's just start by making some uh, some mana here. Or make some green, blue, blue or green, blue. Make some blue. So we get two mana in the pool. And we don't really draw anything that's super useful. Uh, we're unfortunately one mana short of playing Engine or Escape. We can just put Gigant in our hand, which isn't really the end of the world, and play with Lionel Elves, but not like the great term we're looking for. I am too competitive for Commander? Yeah, I am. That's just not my, just like not my thing, you know? It's funny, it's like, I like... Like, for example, Smash Brothers. You know, the, the way Smash Brothers is played competitively is, like, all the items are on, four players, just, like, bah, beat each other up. I like that, so I don't play competitively. Although, I don't know. I mean, I, we actually hooked up the Switch a few days ago, and me and John were playing Smash. I haven't played Smash in, like, 
like six or seven years, maybe probably like ten years, honestly, like a really long time. And I kind of felt annoyed that the items were like randomizing the game. Um, so maybe I'm too competitive, but oh my god, we're so dead. All right, well, we're getting claimed the first form blown out here, so yeah, super super dead. Brutal. Smash items is the worst, but like it's like fun. Whatever, I'm, I'm bad at Smash. I don't care, you know. But like, I don't know. All right, so that was obviously a terrible turn for us. We lost everything. They have Mayhem Devil here too. They have Reaper. So basically, the nut draw for them. Um, we draw Euro, which isn't bad, but like they just have an active priest. We should know to stop it. Like these sacrifice decks are just so good against creatures. It's just unreal. Um. There's not much point in playing anything but Euro here, so... But anything else will just die. So we play Euro, draw, sure. We could play play the Kinnon, but they can just, like, sacrifice multiple things and kill it, which is awful. Uh, but I guess we don't have anything else going on. I guess we're just going to play the, play the thing. So, we uh, play this. Play this, play Kinnon. There go. Am I ever looking to get into competitive EDH? But just like, why would I play competitive EDH? I play competitive Magic. Why? You know, like, I play Modern, Historic, and Standard and stuff. Like, I play in tournaments, and like, I'm usually playing the format that, like, matters at present. Whether it's a... This is an interesting offer up here. Um, you know, probably for a tournament, or playing on the ladder. Just like, why would I add that to my, you know, my slate here? It doesn't seem very fun. So we can trade here. It's not like a great trade for us, but it does make their Priest worse. But if they're attacking here, like... They might just have a thing anyway. I'm like a little tempted to block, honestly. You can fire off Escape the Wilds next turn, just like try and stay alive. Yeah, I'm gonna block. Like, obviously, Cannon's great, but like, it's gonna die anyway. They have some way to play a creature and kill it. So, like, I'll just try and uh, stay alive and keep things going. There's your oven, so sure. Our Euro is almost there, but as long as they have Priest in play, it's like pretty bad. This card's so good. They're shocking. Shock Gigantha. Alright, so like, we can do some stuff here, you know. We're gonna escape. Exile 5. That's not bad. I mean, play Mox. To play. I mean, the elves is probably gonna die, but like, we gotta play it anyway, so just play it. <laughs> just natural draw five. We can just go engine, cannon, sphere next turn, which is pretty cool. Their best play being Gigant is pretty good for us, honestly. Like, Stomping ground tapped. Are they playing company in your deck? Probably. Um, so we get to play Paradox Engine. Play Kinnon first, actually. Play Kinnon first. Tap both these for double. Then play Paradox Engine. Try and get this show on the road. Let me have it. All right. Um, play Mindstone. Which maybe I should have played first, but Mox Amber cannot make colorless mana. Wow. Uh, we're like going off, folks. What are they even doing over there? So this is it. I mean, this is the engine. Like engine online, just like making mana, drawing cards. Uh, Gonna make some blue. Drop Bala, get recovery. So you can recover, like, escape the wild and just keep going. That's nuts. This is nuts. 
is nuts. Uh, all right, so cast recovery. Targeting escape the wilds. I already read. Oh my god, did I screw up? I screwed up. I'm so bad. No. All right, so now I gotta. Nikes. Um. All right, we'll draw a card. But Gigantha get red? I can do that actually. I, I drew a red. We're better looking again. I could actually just cast Gigantha. It's oh, it's almost free. Actually, we screwed up. I shouldn't have. Uh, I shouldn't have. Uh, have tapped the the Mind Stone because more mana that I could have just gotten. So yeah, we can. Uh, much mana. I mean, now we just have the red anyway, so we don't even need to play Gigantha. But we could have done that. So we could have done that if we if we wanted to like do that, but we didn't do that. But whatever. Mox can make red if I cast Gigantha. I just didn't make it. I just didn't realize it. That's hard to play, folks. All right, now our clock is going, which is awesome. Life. Play Mind Stone. I imagine there's dead. Um, I don't have a spell count here, but uh, I think they're pretty dead. Hold Q. Tab on mana. What's, what's Q do? That works. Sure. Um. I thought we were so dead this game. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. QQ is kind of nice. So, Reservoir gains one life for each spell we cast. It's basically just Tendrils of Agony, um, for the most part. Um, QQ, Mindstone. Oh, I didn't tap my Elf. Eh, whatever. This doesn't matter. Whatever. Should have cast enough spells to get the 50 and then kill them. I did not think we were in that game. Blouses. That was pretty impressive. Uh, I do say so myself. Um, we're still just like pretty soft to the one two, but that was cool. That was pretty cool. Thoughts on that? Huh? Get a little hype and chat. Make a little noise here, huh? Whew. Come on, I can't That's challenging to play, but it's super sweet. What's up, Blake? That was cool. A little sloppy on the edges, but for the most part, we uh, we got it to work. Deck does seem good. I mean, they, they did, like, not do anything. Like, the turn they attacked with the 3-2 the and we traded, they just, like, didn't do anything else. So, like, you know, if your opponent does stuff, you're more likely to lose. If they don't do anything, it's, like, kind of kind of easier to win. But they would also blew us out on turn two with the, the claim the firstborn. So, I'll take it. I'll take it. Opponent, let's go. Let's go, opponent. We got, we got places to be. We got things to do. I got dinner to eat. Nicole's making some delicious stir fry. Delicious stir fry. I got some dinner. I got to build my commander deck for tomorrow. Get ready for my Mog Monday. Got to finalize my my legacy and modern lists. Um, it's gonna be. I guess I could do it. Could do it, could do it in the morning, theory, theoretically. But what's today? Sunday. I don't know what day it is anymore. Elvish Warrior says, I sub and follow your content because you are funny and interesting, but you also have really good fecking good magic IQ. Aww. And luck. Thanks. Appreciate that, Warrior. Thank you. I hope that's one of the, you know, the, the benefits of my content is that as an experienced magic veteran who's played in you know pro tours and played in very large tournaments and so on and so forth for a very long time, I can bring a, a level of at least sort of knowing what I'm doing to the kind of fun content as well. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Let's go. Yeah, this sand's cool. 
A little iffy with like the double engine, but Emery is really good in this deck. Mostly of pets and soundboard, all out. All out. Igor's been uh, been lazy lately. I don't like waking him up and bringing him down. He's sleeping, you know. I don't want to mess him up too much, so. If he's, if he's awake, I'll bring him down to his office, but. Igor's a very neurotic hamster. He really is like, I wonder at times like something's wrong with him. He's just like, very, very neurotic. He's very like, pick him up, you pick him up and hold him, he's just like, He's not really like scared, like, you know, he'll, um, we gotta block here, um, like his ears are up, but he's just very like, like, I, I feel, I don't know what to do for him, I feel bad for him, like, I don't know how to make it better for him, you know, makes me sad, I want him to have a happy life, but, alright, so we can't cast the heart of Emery, which kind of stinks, we had, we had turn to Emery lined up, which is pretty great, but, now we're like not in the, the best of shape, but, but yeah, poor little Igor. I don't know what to do for Igor. Thoughtseize, that makes my hand so much worse. Were they an oven to gain a food? Yeah, it would have made more sense actually, because it's going to die anyway. And you just sacrifice it and ping it. Makes more sense, makes more sense. Alright, well, uh, and Priest too. Oh man. If we win this game, I'll be really impressed. We draw a Mind Stone. Um, their law on cards is just good. Putting Gigant in our hand isn't super exciting. We're just gonna draw a card, I guess. Ooh, green. There's Emery. Awkward. Uh, we could have cast that if we didn't, uh, you know, didn't do that. I guess we, we didn't know, but um, I still can. I still can. I still can. No, I can. Yes, I can. We're good. I'm just bad at math. There we go. So Emery might die to, you know, various things here, but most, most of the cards, hopefully we'll play Euro. Yes, we will. Bingo. All right. We like that. We like that. So I got Euro teed up. Um, we can just play a Paradox Engine next turn too, also. Whoa. Pressure's on them to kill my Emery too, so they probably have to like bin their Woe and Oven here. Emery's a very 2020 magic card. You just have to answer or just gain value immediately. Priest is so good. Oh no, man, devil, we're dead. We have no way to remove anything from the battlefield, so like, we're just dead. Because sacrificing this stuff is part of our, our thing. We actually just can't beat a mayhem devil. Because we need to like sacrifice spheres and stuff and like as part of going off. We also need to have creatures in play too. Yeah, I don't know if we can win. Which is kind of disgusting. I'll play the engine, I guess, but that's uh, not good. They gotta ban one card from this deck. They gotta ban Euro, maybe ban Muxus, and then ban one card from this deck. I don't know if it's Devil, I don't know if it's Cauldron Familiar, I don't know if it's Claim the Firstborn, but the Sacrifice decks are just, like, too good. And, like, they're, they're obviously beatable, but they're just, like, so oppressively good against any deck playing creatures, and any deck, any, any deck not playing removal. Like, we just can't win, because we can't, we, can't, we can't remove these, you know? God. No, Thoughtseize is, is fine. Thoughtseize is totally, totally fine. Um, I mean, we're just dead. I mean, we can't, we can't beat two, two devils. We can't beat one devil, probably. So we, can't, we definitely can't beat two. That's a weak spot for the deck, for sure. Um, our Karn board. I guess we have Aether Gust. We like have to bring an Aether Gust to deal with the Mayhem Devils. Maybe. Honestly. Really stinks. But, I mean, they can't kill an engine if it gets into play. Maybe we'll shave an engine to the board. I'm gonna get rid of this unstable obelisk. The card seems terrible. And bring in two Aether Gusts. Thoughtsies is great. Thoughtsies is a fair card. It's totally fine. It's obviously good, but... Devil's the ban. Yeah. Devil's the card where it's like, if it's in play, you're just like, oh my god, I can't ever win. You know. It feels so awful to play white and realize they kept in Mux Thoughtseize but thought path was too much. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, white's a whole other issue. White's just the worst color by such a large margin, you know. Gain life reservoir and kill their, kill their, clear their board. How would I clear their board? 
Yeah, I think Path would be a fine card in the format. I think the power level of Historic is pretty high. Dark Confidant, Path, all these cards would be fine for the most part. It's not great, but I'm going to keep. Gonna hold this. Get Kinnan and then we have Emery. Is it too late to get back into magic after like two years? Why would it be too late? It's never too late. Uh, that's super awkward. Uh, I mean, like, we can't use Kinnan really, so I'll buy the Alpha Tap Land. Next turn is Kinnan plus Emery, if all things work out for us. Oh, this damn butcher! Oh, fresh meat. Alright. Karn? Karn, 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 Karn. Let me see that Karn, Karn, Karn. Alright, so uh, we milled some stuff. Got some artifacts, which is great. They got to deal with Emery, or start casting Somatic Spheres and Mind Stones and stuff, which is cool. We have Kinnon. We got to escape the wilds. We're looking pretty good this game. Looking pretty good. I'd rather them kill my Lana or Elf than play, uh, play the 1-2, so. Left Magic twice. Mirrodin. And Lorwyn. Sardin War Spark. Yeah, no, no, it never cuts magic, you know. You always come back at some point. It's always there. There's your man, Devil. Nice Mindstone uh, Chromatic Sphere, you know. Let's see. What are we doing here? You can, like, kin in and, like, cast Mindstone, I guess. They're just gonna kill everything next turn. Oh, man. Please don't kill all my stuff. Like, this card is, like, badly designed, dude. It shouldn't trigger off your opponent's stuff. Like, it's just so dumb you, like, sack a Prospector or sack a Mindstone and just, like, just you just can't do anything about it. Like, I get the idea of it, like, wanting it to be, like, a, a mixture of a you sacrifice stuff or make your opponent sacrifice stuff kind of theme deck, but it just seems dumb. All right, we're dead. I think just kill everything here. Um, we have to block. Oh, let's get bigger. These just trade. I just don't see how we win. Don't forget, you're here forever. The cannon's back. I like if I was a master, I could figure this one out. Let me start to escape the wilds. It's not bad. Um, so now I get to play two lands. Fire Bluff, if I want to be able to play this untap next turn, I need the mana. It's like not sure if we can beat this Mayhem Devil. Later, Hammer. I'm trying. I'm trying, folks. Try my best. We do like, I mean, Cannon's like a ritual next turn. We can just like play it and then gain a bunch of mana. Karn for the boat. That's not bad. 
That's a good that's a good turn next turn. I wanna lose my escape the wilds too though. Oh my god, what are they doing? Karn for boat is a play. Karn for boat is a play. Probably require though. I mean, we're probably gonna lose the lose the uh escape the wilds then. Oh my god. Oh my god, just stop! Why don't you stop? Leave me alone. They're gonna sack two things and kill Emery. Okay. I play Kinnon. Tap for two, four. Sack for five. Play Karn. Play. The boat doesn't even like survive anymore. Um, is there a perilous fault in my sideboard? I highly doubt it. It's pretty bad. Well, we're off, folks. Godspeed to us. Hmm. Every spell is four mana if I have Paradox Engine. It's not enough, though. We're still short. Um, I mean, I just guess can't escape the wilds. Just get get lucky here. I think. Like, we can't for the boat. Right? We're just gonna die next turn anyways. We should, we should like win this turn. I think. We'll just go for it. We're just doing it. Let's go. Euro Aether Gust. Okay. Um, Euro sacrifices. Obviously, because why wouldn't it? The problem is the Aether Gust is like, oh my god, we got Clock too. I'll just draw it again next turn, but I don't know if we can afford to wait. Um, Shnikes. Uh, I don't know what to do. Um, on their turn, after they draw, they can sack the Priest. They have three, six, seven, eight. We're like really close to dead. We play Karn and Breeding Pool or it goes away. Um, Alright, I just gotta start doing stuff. Throw it on top. Um, I should make green. Funny if you laugh in your hand. Okay. Here. Bunch of green, mox amber. Um, sure. Now I can play Euro. I can't play the. I can't play the um the Lanor Elf too. So I really, really want to play the Lanor Elf too. Um, I'll draw a line maybe. You know. Untap green land, please. Shit. I can play this. What are you doing? I can't play this? I thought I could play this. Yeah, we're just super dead. Now I just like play Mayhem Devil. We're dead anyway, it doesn't even matter. I have company too. Yeah, whatever. I mean, 
Wasn't a bad turn, but they just get to ping this thing twice, then kill me. Oh my god, get out of here. Go away. Go away. Get off my plate. God, I, hate, I hate sacrifice decks so much. I can't stand it. Absolutely cannot stand it. Sanctum was in our our um our pile for Escape the Wild. I thought I, thought I, still, I, thought I, still, thought I still had one land drop for turn. I mean, the deck's obviously really powerful. If I could have just, like, killed some of their stuff. Like, maybe the sideboard needs to be, like, less wish targets, more, like, removal spells and stuff. Like, they had good game, good hands, both those games. That we, I mean, like, still almost won. I mean, like, they, like won, we won one of them, too, so. Could it be a good Is It Phoenix deck? I mean, it'd be okay, but this hand's great. Godzilla! Alright, so we're gonna get a little, uh, little goblin action here, probably. We can Karn for a uh, Grab Digger's Gage. Euro's pretty silly. Nothing. Emery. Um, probably just play Emery. It's like. I guess we could play Euro. That doesn't do anything though. Play Emery here so we can like try and find a mana rock and then play Cannon up by the by the rock, so. Ooh, that's a whiffski. That's a whiffski. No artifacts. I feel like the perspective on this art isn't very good. It's not how water works, like, water skews perspective. Goblin War Chief. Alrighty then. Chromatic Sphere. Must be nice. What a sick draw. Obviously, we could just, like, hit it off our thing, but. Alright, so we're gonna play the Bonder. And now I get to play Sphere, make a bunch of mana, which is awesome. And it's Magic Water. Maybe. Let's play this. We're gonna make two green. Draw. Then we're gonna bring this back. Oh, I tapped. Uh, yeah, you're right. I'm stupid. I should have. I, I wanted to leave up in more blue, but you're right. I should save the elf for post cannon. I'm, I'm just an idiot. Um, I told you. I told you. Told you everything I want here. I know I can't actually. I'm actually just really, really stupid. Uh, I screwed up. Yeah, I I miscounted. I thought I could play Euro this turn, but I can't. Um. I can only make a two instead of three. So, that being the case, nope, it just happened anyway. Well, that's not what I meant to do, but sure. All right, sure, whatever. See if I care. Next turn, we can just Karn and Cage. Karn, Cage, Sphere. Goblin Matrix. Hmm. The old Mux Daddy. And a Chieftain? Oh, God. Alright, well, we can get Cage. We're just gonna die to the freaking Goblins, though. Alright, there's Karn. Let's see here. Okay, so two, three, four, five. Play sphere. Everything untapped. I think we're like okay here for like engine car and cage. Um I can draw my entire deck. I don't think that is true. Oh maybe I can. I don't know what I'm doing, alright? Maybe I can't. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're the... Oh! oh, oh my God! 
I'm still learning the deck, folks. Cool. All right, so let's bring in our two Aether Gusts and cut uh, this terrible obelisk. And um, opponent new? I don't know. What the hell do I know? I'm just a platinum player. What do I know? Um, I'm going to cut a recovery. Sure. So you're like, every cast, you're recasting Sphere. Sphere makes two. Lanarels makes two. You can just keep drawing and making mana. That's pretty sweet. And when you find a Mox eventually. I like it. I am looking forward to my, my stir fry though. I mean, you probably have a good goblin matchup because like they don't really do anything, do anything until they kill you. I guess like trash master could be a problem, but uh, sure. Any hand with Kinnon and uh, Lateral just feels awesome. So like it, like it. Not in gold, misleading. We made it out of gold. All right, we're not a gold gamer anymore. We we have evolved beyond such menial things as being a gold gamer. Now we're a platinum gamer. All right. Yeah. That's what I thought. Come on! Inconceivable! Top card, Cranko. Get the hell off my plane. Alright. Nothing to do here, I guess. <laughs> Top card, Chieftain. They didn't even... What? They didn't activate the Snoop? What? Are they high? We're just incredibly stupid. Mm. No blocks. Tree says, once again, graduates on the charity tournament and the money raised. Great job on the record. To enjoy the event. Thank you, my friend. Every year, keep for charity, it's gonna happen. All right. All right, so um, now we've got five mana. We can just like jam engine. We're taking a lot next turn, obviously, off of this, uh, this Krenko. Just jam engine and just try and go off next turn. It's, I guess, sure. Alright. So the next turn we can, like, we can, like, Euro and escape and regenerating mana and stuff and... Just don't kill my engine. Just go land Krenko and we're gonna try and kill you. I'm old. Matron off the top? Sure. Trash Master. I mean, they can't play it yet, so whatever. Because he's the Trash Man. Yay, he's the Trash Man. Alright, so... Tap for two. I'm just play Euro. It's mana neutral. Yeah, it's mana neutral. Alright, don't need two more cannons. That's obviously pretty bad. But, sure. Alright, it's gotta be good. It's gotta be good here. So we're about to get trashed. That's pretty good. Um, we'll let on colors here. So I have not played a land. I have two land drops here. So we can go... I don't have any blue. The breeding pool. Yeah, I play Mind Stone. Any red for, uh, for Escape the Wilds. I'm just playing Forest too, right? I guess we just, we just like, don't even do it yet, so sure. Let's escape the wilds. Another engine. An Aether Gust doesn't really help us. I guess Gust buys us time if we need to, like, just chill for a turn. It's actually pretty good, honestly. Um, we can just, like, play a bunch of stuff and then Gust their Trash Master and win next turn. Um, oh boy. Um, 
It's like... This. I mean, Lanor Elves is like... Generates mana. So do that. Tap here. She had this really good in this deck. We haven't played a land yet. Um, I need the blue though. Ah, shit. Um, Gantha. And then. Now I think we're just saying go, right? So we can't do anything else. Play this. Now we just say go. Uh, we Aether Gust their Trash Master. And then next turn we should be able to definitely do some stuff. We don't, we don't really have anything else, I guess. Because we have a uh, Trash Master. We got the old Aether Gust. I might draw a Mind Stone here. I could have made mana. I don't, know, I don't need blue, though. Gigantha does help, honestly. Gigantha's, like, Gigantha's actually really good. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Waka, waka. We put the Trash Master on top of their deck, and they have a Snoop and Blight. Uh, okay. Uh, sure. What's up, Miles? I've d obviously d I've done this before. Like, I've, I've had my Krenko Aether Gust and then just, like, snooped it. Like, I've been there before on the other side. Um, I don't think we're still fine here. They still have two more, two more Shatters in their hand. I mean, maybe we can, like... Maybe we can, like... <sighs> Shit. Uh... Well, like, they just kill the engine with one of their creatures, so, like, it's not even, like, you know, we can, like, we can do a lot of stuff this turn and, like, put a Euro in play and, like, stuff like that, but, um, like, you probably just, like, cast the engine. Um, they have infinite shatters, like, after combat? Why after combat? Swing for a bunch, then untap. It's not a bunch, it's like a little bit. Uh, hold on. Oh my god. I guess we're attacking, yeah, sure, so... This is just like a... A ritual that's going to kill their chieftain or snoop. Not gonna snoop. Oh, all right. Let's untap all those. Uh. Wait. Blue. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Start hitting buttons. Honestly. Mox amber. Okay. The fact that this deck is just playing Euro as like a, you know, just like a good card, obviously, is pretty sick. Um, play Mox. You can, like activate Kinnon and stuff. Um, and play Mindstone. This looks for an Emery. Okay, easy game. And also more cards. And we have these colors we can't even use. We can play a Sanctum. We can play a Mindstone. And do we like crack the Mindstone? I don't think so. Should just say go here. So they can crank go if they want to, but like. 
Muxus, sure. I mean, this is this this Muxus is not a Trash Master or a Crankout, so. They had a Prospector and Double Chieftain. And a Cranko on top. Oh my god, what a sicko. What a freaking sicko. They hit all this with the Cranko on top, too. Well, now we're, now we're just dead. That's The floating mana was Gigantha, man. It's only used for colors, for colored things. What a sicko. They had the Prospector. Now they can just cast the Trash Master. Alright, whatever. You win this round, opponent. You win this round. All right, game three. Trash master, cause he's the trash man. Yeah, he's the trash man. Pretty good, pretty good Muxus there. Pretty good Muxus. I was risky too. If they miss there, they're dead. Like they could have just played trash master and played it safe, but. Bum 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 bum. We have Beatles Rock Band in my house. Beatles Rock Band, anyone? Nicole loves Rock Band. Let me tell you how it will be. Trash Man! There's Vile for me and nothing for you. Trash Man! Yeah, they, 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 they the big thing was hitting Prospector, honestly. Prospector and a, and a haste effect. Um, so they could, they could cast the Cranko in their hand, then cast the Trash Master, so... Alright, on the play. Uh, this is actually pretty good. We can go turn one Sphere, turn two Stone, Announce, Emery, cast it. So for those who don't know, um, you can lock in the cost with Affinity. Um, and then use your Sphere to pay for it, because of how Sphere works. And we can play Emery for one using the Sphere to draw a card, which is kind of cool. So we can turn our Mindstone colorless mana into a colored mana. This is a nice draw. This is a nice draw. So right now we have colorless and Sphere. We announce Emery for one blue. And it tells me to pay a blue. I do that. Still cost one. There's your Emery. Mill some cards. Mill Mox, please. No. Only playing through Mox main is kind of kind of sketch. Mox is just so good. What's up, Dark Steel Artificer? Thanks for following. Yeah, they hit that follow button. Make sure you do that. If you're on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, that's pretty good. So we can. We're doing a lot of stuff this turn. Uh, we can Kinnon. Double tap. Mindstone. Double tap. Chromatic Sphere. Play it. One, two, three. We only have three mana left over, though, so it's not, even, not like that great. Mox Amber. Oh my god! Just kidding, we have a, a bajillion mana. This is a good opening, folks. This is like a pretty good opening. Just like pretty good. It's kind of good. It's pretty good. Alright. Hope they have Trash Master in their hand. Just kidding, I don't, actually. I prefer if I didn't do that. We have Chandra Torch Defiance. That seems like a weird card to bring in. Sure. I mean, it's annoying, but I think both of these are really good. They're going to add two red. You're going down. Got a braid, too. You're a sicko. You're a sicko, opponent. Get out of here. All right, well, we got... S we're, we're good here. We're still fine. All right, so we're going to make... Uh, blue and colorless. And actually, I should need to do that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to uh, target our sphere. I, I, actually, I can just target engine. I don't, have any, I don't have any red mana, though. I guess Gigantha. Yeah, so, um, okay. I got this. I can figure this out. I'm, like, somewhat mildly competent at times. Um, so, get our engine back. We're going to play the engine. We're going to play another Mox Amber. This is going to... Un yeah, they're dead. Oh, they're like... they're like. I thought we had, like, had to do some work here. They're actually just super dead. Um, I also didn't stack the trigger properly. Because I'm an idiot. Uh, I should have held priority. 
But now you just have Emery and they just lose, so. Um, so now we just now you just have you just have we just have Emery double mocks, so uh, Should I full control here? No. No. no whatever. It doesn't, matter. doesn't actually matter what we do at this point. We just keep getting the boxes back. Loopy, loopy, loop. Okay. That was turn turn four? Nice. Through an abraid? This deck's kinda nice. This deck's kinda nice. One more. One more match. And there. A loot that was needing nowhere? Uh, yeah, it was. You're making infinite mana. Let me just get Gigantha. Um, we can also start start chaining the, the spear, too. You know, whatever. It doesn't matter what we do. We just, we just win. We can just... I just hit buttons and eventually I'll figure it out and get it right, you know? The mocks are generating mana. We could Gigantha into our hand, then play it to have red for Escape the Wilds. Or we can just do spheres too. Whatever. I, that, that was my thought process. The sphere works too. I won. Play bad, win anyway. I didn't play bad. I, I played good. I played great. I am also very good looking. Um, this hand kind of sucks. Uh, we can't keep this hand. Yeah, I guess. I mean... Gotta draw a land, but you don't need red to play Gigantha. It's hybrid. It's green or red. Green or red. The best. The flavors. It's an obscure reference. I want my Swedish fish. Anyone? I don't get to that one, I'll be impressed. I always say that, like, I'm always impressed that, like, I can make whatever really obscure reference I want to make and someone will get it. That one's, like, really, really obscure. Like, really obscure. Alright, so... Decent hand. Escape is so good in this deck. You get it? No, you don't. Liar. Liar. Put a ball against six also. That's, that's, that's nice of them. So we're just like trying to draw a land for Euro and then work our way up to uh, Escape the Wilds. Overgrown Tomb? Sure. We're going to crack our sphere. Like, it is our only red source, but we'll find a red source, you know? Right. Uh, Overgrown Tombs? Sacrifice again? God, I hate these sacrifice decks. I hate them. We hate them, precious. I mean, our hand's pretty gassy, so I guess it's fine. Man, I'm getting hungry. I cannot wait to have dinner. Dinner, 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 dinner. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I can't get my new desk, too. My new, uh, my new legs are my desk. What about their legs? I don't need those. All right, so we're going to full control. Cast it magic online style by tapping our lands. Resolve Euro. Make it, make it green. Ah, fellow Chucker, eh? Sphere. All right. Um. I mean, we draw a l nope. That box is not on. We've got a couple cards in the bin. Let's just start doing stuff, I guess. Draw a card. Come on. It's so awkward because, like, we don't have any red. But we also don't have any lands. So we want to cycle through our spheres, too. Got three other cards in the bin. Like, I think we just say go here.
Euro. Euro. Gyro. How long to Euro, Euro ban? Hopefully soon. Just like should not be legal in any format. Just a stupid card. Alright. Alright, here we go. Untap. We drew a land. We did it. We are the one that did it. Alright, so we're going to... Uh, Green here to start. That was dumb, actually. I should have tapped anything else because I could have uh, hit the kin, but I didn't, so. Boom! Don't negate me. I s Alright. Next turn. Next turn. Next turn. Main deck Aether Gust. Oh boy. Been on for over six hours. It's a long stream. Great stream today. Why don't you all give yourselves a hand? Terrific audience. Thank you so much. With over 500 viewers, almost all stream. Y'all great. I'd like to thank all my fine viewers. I'd like to thank Crokey's computer for breaking. Leave a little uh, room for the rest of us out here. Nissa. Soundboard, a new thing? No. Waka, waka. Nissa, sure. Power. I mean, like, we're just gonna combo, so. <laughs> the old Nissa Vivian turn? I guess. We should probably try, try and wait over the next turn or two, honestly. Alright, so. We're gonna guess. Leave up the blue green. Alright, escape, help me out. Uh, that's pretty good, actually. So we can go Breeding Pool, Kinnon, Double Mana. I can't play Mindstone and Land Elves, looks like. <laughs> Want to play Land Elves or Mindstone? Mindstone's free later. Yeah, I'll play the liner rolls. The guy, don't confess anything. You're here now, and I'm happy. You know, people occasionally apologize for like not resubbing or not not being here for a while. Look, I'm just happy when you're here. If you come once, watch five minutes, think I'm an idiot, and then leave. I'm just happy you're here. You know, like if you're watching all the time, if you're busy, whatever it is, if you're here, you're watching. I'm happy. You know. Yeah, elves is better for sure. Elves is, is uh, obviously summoning sick. I figured it out. I figured it out. What's up, Max? Thanks for following. Rope burn, pile drivers in chat. Put your pile drivers in chat, please. All right. I mean, they have like infinite mana here. So, what if I think you're an idiot? But stay. Even better. Even better. Oh god, they're floating mana. They're gonna like... Oh my god, what are they doing? They're just missing all day. Put your power drivers in chat. Alright, so that's a lot of 3-3s. Three a lot of 3-3s. Three but well, they got nothing else. So, I like in Euro too. Don't draw Thoughtsies. Oh, that scared me. That's still good, though. I mean, drawing any one matter inter interactive card there with no cards in it is pretty freaking sick. Uh, but I think that the uh, Thoughtsies would have been worse. It was still really bad for us, actually. All right, so Escape the Wild has got to do some, some, some dirty work here. Um... Maybe that was a bad tap. I didn't leave green up, but whatever. Let's go. I need help escape the wilds. What do you got for me? Not much, it would seem. Not much, it would seem. Um, Yeah, we're dead. That sucks. I think Ruinous Ultimatum is non-land, so... Wouldn't even do anything. 
Man, that sucks. If it didn't spike, if it didn't spike, the, the thirst were like super alive. We just have like cannon, a bunch of mana. We just play a bunch of mana and win the game easily. That's so dumb. That's such a rude opponent. So rude. Um, one, two, three, four. We have five. We have five mana. Uh, yeah, we we have four mana. Yeah, we're super dead. Oh man, why you gotta be so rude? I'm trying to combo too. So we're gonna cut these terrible obelisk and something for double aether gust, I guess. That'd be good. I don't think that's good. I think our main deck's fine against them, honestly. Like they have like thought seas and stuff. It doesn't gust doesn't do anything there. Like I'm not gonna gust their Nissa. We didn't lose to Nissa that game. We lost to like the the thirst and everything. Have I heard about the MTG swimsuit calendar? Yes, I have. I was not invited, unfortunately. It's their loss. Their loss. All right, playing first. It's all right. It's all right. We're gonna play a sphere first. If we draw an emery, we can cast it up another thing. So, yeah, definitely a big loss on their part. Not draw, not draw memory, but mind stone, and I guess go. We got some boomers in our hand. Rude. We have less boomers in our hand, but what month would I be? You tell me, folks. You tell me. Come on! Well, this is this is when Euro is really good. So, Botanical Sanctum, sure. No, I tap like that, you idiot! Eh, whatever, it's fine. It doesn't actually matter. It doesn't actually matter. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? I don't even know. What do we got? We got a couple cards in the bin. Just go. It's your turn. Just double thought sees. Monster. Joe! New sub! What's in your way from? Thanks so much. Firebluth Canal. Um, sack that. Draw a card. We can like Euro this turn, right? Like takes our entire graveyard, but wow, this is terrible. Um, how about we make a blue and draw a Mind Stone? I mean, I'll have to axe my whole graveyard. It makes Emery and stuff worse, but, like, maybe just jam. Whatever. Sure, here's my here's my cards. They're all gone now. Here's a Euro. Why bother playing, uh, Mardak? We should play Euro. Kidding. You gotta be kidding me. I mean, Brad Nelson is in the calendar, so it's like, you know, he's already taken. Nathan from Utah. What's up, my friend? Watched a lot of YouTube content. Decided he needed to be here. Welcome, my friend. All my YouTube folks, don't forget, there is a subscription button on YouTube as well. So if you're a YouTube viewer not on the stream, I appreciate you coming to stream. Obviously, it's great. You're welcome to come. But if you're primarily a YouTube viewer, that's the wrong button. You can go to my YouTube. Hit this join button right here. What is up, my YouTube friend? It's time to join the Pile Drivers. Check it out. Same perks, same everything. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna slam jam on the old Nissa here. There's an Emery. That's cool. Uh, we're gonna play Kinnon, Mindstone, Emery. I'm just gonna pay life, whatever. All right, so we got a Stone Rain. Everyone who's here knows how much I love a good stone rain. If you don't, you better. Because I do. I do. Double colorless. Emery. That's a mox. And a paradox engine. Oh, we're kicking it now. Let's go. Put that in our hand. Play that tapped. I like this. I like this. 
Power driver shirt. Definitely a power driver shirt. Call us Power Left Shop. Promo code Jim to end them. Set up your order. Power driver shirt. A shark that stubbed its toe. Shark, do sharks have toes? Our opponent's a trickster. Our opponent's a trickster. Oh god, they have like this. They mean they have graces or whatever. So it's like, but they didn't float, they didn't float any blacks. They can't thought seize us. Or have a counter spell or anything. We don't care about Krasis for a million here. Like, they can't do anything with it. Strider! That's a nice raid. Thank you so much. 91 is the party who's joining our party. Welcome. How's it going? Hi, everyone. Um, I am finishing up. This is my last match. But I'm playing a really cool deck in Historic. And it's uh, based around Emery and Paradox Engine. And we're about to do some stuff. And it'll probably be good. I don't actually know what it's going to be yet. Uh, but looking good. Welcome, everyone. Shout out to Strider Stone in uh, chat, please. And... What are we going to do? Do we win? Paradox Engine. Play Spell. Mox Amber. I think we're good, right? Alright, so... Yeah. I'm going to get back Paradox Engine. Tap this for Double Colorless. Play the Engine. Now we play a spell and our stuff on taps. And I think we're off of the races here. i got to kind of figure it out, but... Mox Amber. Boom, boom, boom. Now we're like, now we're just, yeah, we're just totally off of the races. It's like big time. Now we stack the Mind Stone and just keep casting it over and over again. God, life is good. This deck's great. I don't think this deck is like fully refined yet, but it's like pretty damn good. Uh, let's cast this. Why do you use the green? Recovery? Okay, that's a card. Am I screwing up here? Why am I not making mana? The elf is summoning sick. I could play a Euro here just to generate some mana like that, so let's do that. Uh, play Euro. Get there eventually. Chromatic Sphere, that's better. That's a better one. Now I believe we draw our entire deck. Yay. Life is good. They're gonna make us do it though. Scare having fun. We're having a great time. Raise your hand chat, we're having a great time. Ba 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 having a wonderful time. Ba 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 having a wonderful time. Blah, 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 having a wonderful time. Blah, 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 blah. You're the man now, dog. You're the man now, dog. You're the man now, dog. Uh, uh, I'm make us do it. As long as I go fast enough, then it doesn't, uh, use my clock, so. My, uh, whatever. Stuff. Is he just QQ? Sure, we'll QQ. Uh, what's the payoff? I don't know, I'm just doing stuff. It's having fun. Why's well, it gotta be a payoff? You know, we can just have some fun. Throw some cards. Historic Brawl? I have not. Um, I have not. 
not super interested in Brawl, honestly. Where's my Karn at? There's a Karn. There's a Karn. Reservoir. Can I get upstairs in chat, please? Oh, do you can. That's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. Eh? 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 Let's do that again. Easy game. Easy game. Game. I won the video game. Blouses. I did it. After it was all over. I did it. Me. He took us in the house to serve his pancake. <sighs> yeah, they screwed up. Like, they played a 9-9 crisis. Just play an 8-8 crisis and leave one black floating. Like, give us a chance to draw thought seeds or something, you know? Alright folks, my last game of the day. That means you gotta follow and sub and or follow and sub and sub on YouTube and so on and so forth. And um boy, if you're new here, I hope to see you again. You're all great. I appreciate the support today. You're all awesome. Pancakes dinner, no, stir fry. How's the stir fry coming to us? I'm so hungry, I'm so excited for stir fry. I am freaking pumped. I'm gonna keep this. Um they're sure to thought me a million times anyway. So like we have two payoffs and recoveries and stuff. I'm gonna keep. 24 hour stream. No, it's not. Uh sphere? It's still tap land. Best stream of 2021. Who's pumped for the uh who's pumped for the uh the Mog Monday showdown tomorrow? Mog Monday, the big showdown. Team me and Pleasant Kenobi. 1 p.m. I'm pumped. Goblins versus death and taxes. Alright, so we drew a mox amber, which is obviously pretty fine. Um Like draw a card. So I don't want to tap that, but sure. All right, I'm just like play unstable obelisk, I guess. Monday, Monday. All right, you're up. Drunk stream now. I'll be sober. And now that it's over. We'll never be sober. That's a good song. Girl. All right, so um, Emery's cool. We can like do some stuff here. Play Emery. And engine and Euro. One, two, three, four, five. We can we can escape the wilds here. They could have like a, a aether gust or something like that though. I'm kinda of feeling aether gust here. I could have negate too. But maybe just Karn. Karn to get around the gust. They have a gust. Gust, gust, gust. Keeps keeps keep saying the word gust over and over again. I guess if they like gust the escape, we just do it again next turn. Negate from delay on Mox, but no delay on Bear. You mean Emery? That's fair. I think that I think that escape is more important. Let's let's, let's play Karn. Karn, the Karn, Karn, Karn. Let me see that Karn, Karn, Karn. All right, play that. There you go. I mean, we're gassed up here. We have Euro and enough cards to do it. We've got Escape the Wilds. We have Recovery to get back Escape if they get rid of it. Like, they missed that. We don't really care. Darksteel Artificer. Calling the shots in the chat. Yeah. Uh -huh. They can still have a Negator Gust here or whatever, but... Botanical Sanctum? Alright, well... Tap Mind Stone. Tap this. Thanks for this. the great videos, as always. Best! Thanks, thank you, my friend. 413 sub, you're awesome, thank you.
Engine D. Okay, I guess I could, I could play the engine, I guess. That was stupid. I should just play the engine. That was really dumb. I was distracted. I'm dumb. Um, yeah, that was really stupid. I should just play the engine from the graveyard. Because obviously if they counter it, that's great. Because we cast it again next turn. That was a whoopsie. That was a whoopsie. Hoping I get punished here. Um, one, two, three, four. Lots of these. That's not a big deal. What's up, Blade? Blade, stay safe, all right? Get yourself tested. Take care of yourself. Do what you got to do, all right? Take it very seriously and just be safe, all right? All right, so... Yeah, I mean, we might have screwed this game up pretty bad here, honestly. Because they kind of have, have to count. They have to negate the... The, the engine anyway. She's like wasting her gate. Oh god. Sure. Sure. Alright, I mean, if they have another negate, we're dead. I might have thrown the game. Well, we, probably, we, we, we should have lost anyway, probably. If they have another negate, but... Alright, engine. Gentlemen, start your engines. I can't look! Ooh. Ooh. Say it, uh, say it, say it is so, I guess. All right, so. I think we're, there's dead, right? Oh, I have to exile the thing, no. That's so bad. Um, I have to exile my artifacts to play, uh, to play Euro. Oh, no. Oh. What can I do here? Sack Mindstone? Oh, I, I threw. I threw so bad. I screwed up. Ah, uh, that's a huge throw. Ah, uh, I threw it away. Yeah, I, I did I did sack the Mindstone to keep going. Oh, I can't believe I just threw. Oh, I mean, I, mean, I didn't throw. Aether Gods, no! Ah, oh. Right, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're just dead. Well, things on tap, though, right? Hold on, we're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. Hold on, hold on. This thing's still on tap. Right. The whole point of that Euro is to untap my stuff. So this is actually fine. Um, I gotta hurry up, though. Draw a card. Now the, now the rope is going. Shit. Wait, no. No! I can't tap everything because I gotta tap the. I combo decks is stressful. Mox Amber, dope. Now they're dead. Oh, I didn't stack it right. God, I didn't full control. Just idiot. What are you doing? Um, all right, so do that and target the mock. Something that matters, I guess. Actually, it doesn't matter. It's actually infinite mana, so whatever. Play this. Play on taps. QQ. Uh, full control. Play this. Everything on taps. Resolve that. Tap for a mana. I think I need to do that, right? I think it's just like a loop. I'm just like trying to play fast. I'm not like thinking like about it really, but like they're just looped. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, they're just, they're just dead. Domo! Imagine just being gold tier. Ha ha buff. Yikes. What's up, my friend? Thanks for resub. 13 months, you great. I must say I would not be very good at speed chess. Just gonna throw that out there. Heh! <laughs> 
That's pretty funny. The obelisk can like infinitely um, kill all their stuff. Should I do that? Should I do that? You want to see that? Should I do that? All right, so let's do that. And now we're going to keep, I should, right, whatever. Draw a card. Another Mox. Uh, replay Milestone. This is an easy way to tap everything but this one. Do that, I guess. Eventually, we'll win. I didn't QQ. We're just saying it doesn't matter what you're just gonna putz around here and get it right. Make you life, blah blah blah. Eventually we'll find Karn. And then uh, we'll cast the thing and win the game. They're making us play it out. We start looping Opelisk. That's not a bad idea. It's not a terrible idea. Oh, I have cannon in my hand too. Sure. Uh, play this. Wait, wait. The rope is going now. Why is the rope going? Why did the rope start? What? What's going on? Why isn't it stopping? It just keeps going. What the hell? Did... What? Are you kidding me? This is unreal. I can't do it fast enough. This is so stupid. Like... I was taking actions every turn. Like, that's ridiculous. So what's the deal? There's like a, there's a max tur like clock limit on your turn. That's so stupid. All right, I guess I guess you win, opponent. Congrats. Enjoy enjoy your two pips on your platinum platinum four badge. All right. You earned it. Congratulations. Whatever. That's so stupid. All right, whatever. We had fun. Honestly, we won that game. Like, you know. All right, that's fine. Um, I didn't know it was a limit. I would have, like, you know, been a little more careful, I guess. But is there, like, a thing that resets it or is it just a hard cap on your turn? Like, um, I mean, I think Arena's awesome. Like, it has issues, but, like, I love playing Arena so much more than playing on Magic Online. But... All right, whatever, sir. If they interact, it resets. Um, like if I if I had killed one of their permanents, would that would that have done it? So I had to like, I mean, I couldn't find a Karn. I was just, I kept drawing cards. I should have like just killed their. I guess the thing is this is this takes a long time to loop. Honestly, it's tap seven, get it back. Um, Yeah, like, I, I do understand there should be a limit. Five minutes seems, like, way too small, though. Like, if you want to, like... The, the limit should be, like... Just, like, there's draws in StarCraft. Where, like, if there's, like, no action left, the game will at least figure out how to resolve itself. Um, so, like... 
Like I like I think I think rope and chest clock is fine, but there needs to be like you gotta be able to combo if you're playing that. Like this deck is obviously just a cool deck. Like you know, um, yeah. I I, I didn't. I mean, I, I didn't know it was a cap, so obviously I wasn't really concerned with what I was doing time wise. You know, but all right. Well, whatever. This deck's obviously really cool, and we obviously won that match, so that's fine. Like I said, our enjoy can, our opponent can enjoy their two pips on their platinum four badge. You know, what are you gonna do? But deck super cool. Devil was a lot of fun. I need some work. Um, like. We're a little softer creatures. I don't know if we need all these things in the side. Like, we never used any of these cards in the sideboard. You know? So, like, that could be a thing. I think playing the fourth Mox Amber main might be better than having it in the card board. Um, but that seems sweet. That seems sweet. So, that's it for me. Uh, YouTube folks, like, comment, subscribe. You're all great. And uh, give yourself a hand. You're all great. Thank you.